What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we have actually done pretty well in holding on to what we've got. We've got this rather annoying uh, force that's going to run around and probably do a lot of raiding and be very frustrating. So much so I might even cancel building that workshop because it's asking to, be to get raided. Instead, let's pick up a few of these. These wine estates. Yeah, that's the top tier building. So once they're built, they're done. Good. Um, so we're holding on to what we've got up here. The Russians and everyone is pushing. Um, Yashi is growing. Their forces are growing with, uh, with troops mainly from Istanbul, but presumably some are also coming from... Oh, they're coming from Belgrade to provide a force to push up to either towards Kiev or maybe over to Crimea. We do also have this force up here that took Chukask. They're going to march on to Astrakhan, while the new force under Ahmed Ismail is going to move up to Chukask and hold position here. And we recently got new top tier philosophical teachings or philosophical research options, so we're going to go and crack on with those as well. But let's hit end turn. So I've got lots of agents that can move. Yeah, there is a... Forces are growing in that central region and I need to start matching that growth. They demand... No. I'm not going to uh, give you things, Spain. So I am aware that I do need to watch out for Dagestan and I will need to take them out. But declaring on Dagestan or Dagestan also means declaring on Denmark, which is not. It's just another army in the um, Central European region I just don't need. And it looks like Prussia has taken Moscow, which is, I find, quite amusing. Yeah, they have. The new Russian capital is Kiev. But I suspect they will rout or they will rebel. The AI doesn't usually do quite well on holding on to Moscow. But that's handy, because it means that, well, it either means there's a strong Russian force running around, a strong Prussian force, sorry, running around the rear, but it also means there may be a whole bunch of you know, scattered Russian armies as well. New town emerges in Afghanistan. Just spend a bit of cash in Afghanistan, because we don't really look down here very often. Especially as there's lots of towns that can be developed in a fairly safe part of the world actually but before I spend the last of that cash let's spend you to go kill Rudolf Klein march up you guys can get a general and these guys also want fairly cheap troops to help support over here because that's a lot of firepower especially if our plan is to just continue to uh, drive around the flanks so this guy march on Dastrakhan yeah, you're heading up to Moscow you're heading up to Kazan Let's upgrade the farm here because it's cheap. Let's upgrade our, bring our um, general over where recruited forces can start to meet up with him. This guy's moving. Yeah, he's going all the way around to the back at Komi. You're going up to Ufa. Completely undefended. Only earning 500 a turn. We may actually end up causing them to rebel and come back to Russia, which I would consider a good thing. This agent has to stay here, but he's doing a really good job at converting them pretty quickly. Yeah, we've still got eyes on the Mughals, so I'm not bothered about them. Ahmed, his armies aren't that badly depleted, so he's going to come back out through the pass. Yeah, you need to replenish with whatever you can. So this army I do want to build up into an actual force. Could either destroy at Kiev or 
to Prussian Priest. Or to hit Crimea. Or do I build a small army here in Turkey and just fire them across the strait and hit uh, Crimea as well? That's also an option. But I think right now, just let the... Uh, let my recruitment plans stand and everyone get into position before making too many commitments for my money. And here it is. This is actually a really big battle. I've got this reinforcing army. They're probably going to get in. I don't have howitzers, which is a bit of a bummer, but I've got lots of melee infantry, lots of pikes. If they do get in, if they do get in, then that's kind of a good thing. But either way, this is going to be a bloodbath. It's a whole lot of artillery, which I'm not as bothered about. Especially if, as they've got, they've got no howitzers either. So I'm not worried about getting um, quicklime to death. But let's do this. Giant battle in Central Europe. is going to be fun. Fun, but critical. Very critical. And they're going to be bringing in lots of artillery, which is going to really start to uh, cause us problems later on. But I may... It's probably not a bad idea to try and keep some cavalry outside of the city walls. So we were looking this way originally. So let's take our... Can't even... There we go. Just about deploy it in the walls. Okay. Okay, now let's not do this silly. Let's deploy it from the deployment menu like this. So Israeli... Rifleman... Israeli... Janissaries... Probably some miseraries here. Grenadiers. Miseraily. Miseraily. So my pikemen are definitely staying down here. I probably want Israeli Janissary Musketeers and some Grenadiers. They can respond to any immediate breaches. Samet Janissaries are also staying down here. And my Sekban Janissaries are staying down here. Okay, so that's pretty much all the firepower I can muster, although I probably actually want the Sekbans on the wall somewhere. The Samet Janissaries on the wall somewhere. the pikes, some infantry to help fight. Let's deploy our foot artillery back here in an attempt to try and do some counter artillery fire. General's bodyguard's obviously going to stay in here, but my cavalry may actually go outside. Good. The reinforcing troops are all coming from the same position. So my artillery can try and engage their horse artillery. These grenadiers can instead push up to this section here. These guys are starting to, uh, these guys are struggling to take up position on the wall. These guys get into position and then engage. So it looks like they are focusing here, which isn't terrible. And I might even limber up. To be honest, both of my... Well, one of my guns, at least. So 
So the Prussians are coming from over here. Except a, a, a breach wouldn't be the worst thing to do. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Because they're also going over here, I probably want to redeploy these guys. Let's drop my cavalry around to the left, to see if they give me any open slots to hit artillery. I doubt it, but one can dream. So I probably want my grenadiers to end up in the armoury. Deploy troops like so. And a unit of pikes between both of them, or behind both of them. My other artillery unit is attempting to engage, but it's not really working. Sure, I don't think the shells can go get over the command HQ. No, probably not. Good, let's get some damage against the Prussians as they walk past. I'm trying to do counter battery, but they're missing a lot of it. Chancy Rifleman having a go. So they've got Hussars hidden in the woods. Instead, I push them around this direction, away from their cavalry, but try and hit their infantry en masse. Semats there just in case, but I might pull Smith Arady back. Got to really make this ammunition count. these guys aren't firing their muskets and trying to kill the light horse but whatever Grenadiers. Let's see if Martyria can hit any of the cavalry that's sat right at the back. Nope. Chew out the irregulars. You guys ought to be firing. Back. 
go. Those Pandals are, are frustrated for their Pandal friends. So these guys can't shoot for whatever reason. 47%, so we don't have to wait too long for there to be a, a breach. Fire it all off. I think part of it is that these infantry units are just too big to man like sections of the wall reliably. That's kind of ideal. They're routing and they're stuck, which means they will not contribute to the battle and they also won't leave. They won't leave and cause... Oh, are they stuck? Classic Empire. Let's run away, see if we can do the same with these guys. Okay, I think it's probably better off now to do something like... Because these guys can't currently safely occupy the entire building. Let's get ready. Get ready to make our own breach. So let's speed up time. Oh god, no, not full, full speed. Let's bring the Samat Janissaries back as well. Stop firing. Can you guys start firing? Yeah, I really do think it's because the infantry unit's too big. It can't, like, pick what parts of the wall it actually wants to take up. You guys stop shooting, because for whatever reason those Pandas aren't dying. Okay, let's double speed it. Keep these already there. So they do keep focusing on that section of the wall. Don't quite get what they're doing here though. Bunching up in one massive group. Okay, it looks like they're about to attempt a conventional assault, which is obviously not what I'd want. Limp my guns, fire will off. Let's get my infantry off the wall, or it's not on that particular section. Now you guys can fire at will, because we've got to fight like hell against these enemy troops. Cavalry out. Okay, the Pandas have charged up and they've been backed up by the Swiss Grenadiers, so let's just get my infantry here to help out. You guys stop firing. Cavalry go wide and then you're charged back in again. You guys unlimber, fire it well off.
Moment of guards hit the line infantry. Pull the cavalry out. There's two infantry units down. We've almost made a breach. I said a breach means less people climbing up these ladders. Um, okay, this is not great. How did you guys get up here? Uh, at the back. Get over here Move rapidly. It's the regulars routing, not the grenadiers, which is what I would prefer. Could do with the sec band janissary is also getting over here. Now, how's my cavalry doing? Someone's starting to actually climb back up the walls now, so you guys get over here. Pull fire into them. They're charging the grenadiers, so... militia. Actually, you guys run around the square smash into that unit of Hungarian fusiliers. It says you can't shoot. Don't worry about that. You guys shouldn't break. Good. It was only a temporary routing upset. Sec bands up here. Pull my cavalry back. There's only 61 of them. Okay, they finally did step up. So they're going to temporarily take this square formation. Cavalry... Uh, pikemen go in, charge the German cavalry that's got in. General's dead. Second band Janissaries charge the... Look at that, they're not even... Because part of the problem is they're all just... in. My cavalry might be about to break. Pikemen run to the gate. It's not the end of the world. Gunners, you here. You guys charge the cavalry. Because that cavalry won't get far. My infantry, you guys stay up here. My pikeman's gonna love this cavalry. Q 
keep blasting. My sec bands are doing great against this regiment of foot. So now I want them to run along the wall and help in this combat over here. Feed me more cavalry. Swiss line's not as good. The sending of the light horse. Go on, sec band. Cavalry have gone. Let's push some Semak Janissaries up to cover them. So, where's my reinforcements coming on? General's bodyguard, you go back. Not interested in you. Yeah, light horse, kill them if you would like. Okay, they're actually hitting the flank of my pikeman, which is not ideal. Feeding more cavalry in. This might be another job for more pikemen. Keep my general close. Reinforcements are coming in in a suitably nondescript manner, but they are camels. You can shoot down this flank and go mop up their guns. They've made another breach, which I didn't actually notice. They definitely need to cover. So my camels are engaging their SARS, other cavalry. Go take out the general's bodyguard. Is that artillery? 18 pound a foot, not interested. There's got a whole lot of melee combat going on here. Okay, I'm going to pull my Janissaries out, throw these other pikemen in. And the problem is we are firing up into this combat, which obviously isn't great. Semat Janissaries try get up on the slope. Cavalry is done for. You guys come in and try to snipe all of this artillery up here on the hill. Actually, no, you're okay to fire, actually. You'll be hitting the right targets. It's a whole bunch of hussars, which are great and everything, but we are pikemen. Go, you pull back, not interested in cavalry in artillery. 
Aha! Camels can come around to the back of the combat. Really slowing down now because of that combat. Should be fairly no-brainer, but that's a lot of cavalry. Which my camels are going to love. Can you guys all fire it well? Yeah, it's getting laggy because it's a Big old combat. Oh no, not you. Yeah, maybe you. Okay, camels. Then I want my other cavalry unit, not you, this guy. Go after the second regiment of horse. So my camels are going to love these cavalrymen. So that's your artillery dead. Go after them. Basha Bazooks, yes, very useful. Broken the enemy cavalry. Grenadiers, very handy. Worth losing that single pikeman. If he doesn't die, I'm gonna make him run away. Tree still kicking about. Oh god damn, enemy Swiss pikes! My camel's involved, if possible. So we'll get these cavalry down here, get you down here. No, actually you can't really abandon the front. Okay, Serades, you guys get in. Still attacking the camels. Not the camels. The artillery. Okay, is this still a unit of... Okay, the Swiss pikemen have fallen back. Excellent. Okay, you. Are you stuck? He, he was stuck, but he's he's back now, and obviously I want him to run away, because he's pretty useless to me now. Oh, 
so much artillery coming on here. It's been knocked out so quickly. Okay, can you guys engage the Swiss Grenadiers? Good, my Bashis are getting in here. God, there's a lot of dead bodies up here. And there's stuck routing units here, which is useful for us. Again, it minimises the number of uh, men they can have on the battlefield at any one time. Go on, Pikeman, you can do it. You can get out of here, or you're going to get shot down by the Swiss Grenadiers. Line infantry at the front. I've got one gun. And they're not in a great position to do exactly what I want. These guys up here, though. Aha! The militia's coming in. Okay, run. Looks like you killed their artillery, so just. Maybe smash into the Grenadier Guards on the way back down. See, they've still not got my little, my little pikemen. Okay, good. Get my mollusks down here quickly. Foot infantry. Ah, oh, so if these pikemen try to charge us, they can't do anything but get shot at. I think that's probably what's... Nope. Okay, we're back. Periodically back, anyway. I want to run my cav into these light horse, because they're not doing anything. My men are probably very tired. Well, they're just tired. No friendly fire here. I think it's probably because these pikemen can't they can't work out what to do. Okay, actually, rather than charging those cavalry, these guys come over here and knock out a few more artillery units. Happy just to let these Swiss pikes get bombarded with artillery. I said my camp Mamelukes here are just picking up uh, more, picking up more um, energy. See this pikeman, he's the mighty pikeman that could. I'm not quite sure who you guys are shooting, so. Is there some guys stuck up here? These riflemen still have ammo, which is good. I'm sure it must be these guys that are causing the problem, because it, it looks like they're... Oh, they're not doing anything. Nope, there we go. It's resolved itself. Ah, well, it did have. and I'm okay with these guys being stuck here. It's going to be decision making. Whenever these guys seem to run out of ideas of what to do, they just... It all starts to get laggy as they stop and they decide, do we charge? Do we not? Do we charge? Do we not? The 
might get intercepted by the Lancer Guards, but even so, these guys have done a very good job. I don't want to move these Mamelukes into the Swiss Grens until these guys have routed. Whatever that'll be. Yep, they're concerned. Their general is dead. Yep, that is a concerning fact. Just kill them, please. As we get a very frame ratey charge off against some Prussian cavalry, Prussian uh, artillery. Let's go check out my. Be sure these guys are on fireball off. Don't want them doing anything untoward. Okay, let's see if I... If I charge my cavalry into the Swiss Grenadiers, do they suddenly decide not to charge my wall? Do they see the cavalry as a target and then they change their mind? Chopping away the enemy troops, I suppose. They're shaking, so hopefully it won't be too long till they rout. Especially the first Grenadier is probably not going to stick around for too much longer. But they're confident, then they're steady. Shaking. Ring. Obviously, I don't want to charge my. Or is it them? Well, they're not moving, they just sat there. They're a bit stuck, but they're not running about, charging, and doing things. Okay, let's bring these men back. very frustrating when this happens, especially as there's, you know, there's no f more people on the field now than there was. Most peculiar. So if I put it onto two times speed, it doesn't doesn't really help very much. I don't know. It's usually stuff like pikemen that screws things up because they can't get up walls, they have to go inside, but the AI seems to kind of go, no, I'm not having that. Come on, just charge the pikemen, see if you can make them change their mind. I mean, I'm diagnosing them as the issue, without much proof. Is 
these guys are more than happy to climb up the grappling irons. These guys really don't want to charge the pikes, so much so they were running away. I'm sure it's not those guys. Maybe if I get my pikes out of the way. Even then, the game was running smoothly when they still existed. So we've got some fusiliers, they're going to run in the different breach this time. Get some support over there. Come on, you're shaking. Just rout, please. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is... Well, the trouble is with this, this kind of game is the frame rates disappear and come back, like, super quickly. And I could, if I cut the recording, then I constantly come back and go, ooh. These guys aren't in a mood to cooperate. Like, look, why aren't, isn't the entire unit running back? I'm fairly happy it's probably them. I don't mind these guys getting up there. I might run one of my janitor units back out there now they're no longer immediately needed to protect the breach. Or to protect the gate. Hmm, a few layers have decided to change the target. Stop firing. <laughs> oh, I knew it. So everyone's firing up at these. Militiamen. <laughs> okay, let's get you guys back into safety. I mean, these guys have taken an unfortunate direction to. Uh, to attempt to engage me in combat. Hey, who did I hit? Ah, oh, General's bodyguard. Oh, okay. New guys are showing up. Oh, our lone pikeman finally routed. So these guys are lancers, and that's going to hurt when they charge. But I do want to try to kill their general. Yeah, you've been charged, but if you stick around, lancers don't fight very well at all. When they're engaged. When, when they've not had a chance to ch charge. So when you've weathered the blow... Although they're doing pretty well at the minute. Okay, so my... <laughs> Generally, riflemen are holding the fort here, which is obviously bad. If 
big as Fusil is. Okay, let's get you up here first. Let's get the Bashi Bazooks to plug the gap here. There we go. Kill the enemy general. I was due, overdue for an audio hiccup. Okay, let's get my camels back out there. If there's going to be enemy cavalry. Let's get the disarrays around to charge the guards. To charge the guardsmen in the rear. go. In you charge. Eviscerated. The unit's almost completely destroyed. So my cavalry's routed, but they've done their part. You guys just engage the militia, you guys stop firing. Camels? Let's also kill the Fusiliers now, you're up here. This is the thing, Fusiliers, very good, very good uh, shooting infantry, but absolutely, well, incredibly poor, incredibly poor um, melee cavalry. So we're about to get another unit of, hey, European infantry. You guys have taken a really circuitous route to try and kill these guys. Not so much so, I'm going to get you guys just back. You guys get over here. There's a whole bunch of Lanvin militia that are stuck. You guys get into square formation, move up Miss Aureli, move up my remaining pike units. You guys fire at will, because you're going to blow the heads off of a bunch of lances. Bashes will take on your general's bodyguard and your lances, why not? Okay, it's halt firing at will. Same with you, let's turn that off. doing some good work against them at the top of the hill. If the Swiss Grenadiers go for it, which they have. We're going to engage them above and below the uh, the wall. leave my Roverman to it. My Bashis are doing an okay job against their uh, their Lancers. Come on. 
Well, you definitely can. There's a red cross that says you can't, but you definitely can. I was going to say, you can charge in when they're at the bottom of the ladder. It makes them upset. Who are you? Some of my cannons. Attack the general's bodyguard, but although the general's not actually there, so may end up just running you up here. Yeah, it says we lost the gatehouse, but not for long. Ooh, special musketeers! They're gonna be very upset when my grenadiers flank and kill them again. Come on, just kill them then, so they can get my men can, can get out of the way. Well, it looks like we've knocked out. Okay, let's run my cavalry back because they're starting to climb back down the ladders. Hey, they have actually bumped into the these hussars. I'm actually doing not too bad against them. 62 militia, 129 Swiss grenadiers. Charge in again. No, don't fire. Actually, our, our troops are just getting in there. You actually come back here to support this breach. Two of these. These are marines. These aren't men that will be felled so easily. Yeah, my bashies have taken them, taken the gatehouse back. Ignore those stupid hussars. Okay, you charge the marines, you charge the marines, you guys. Get around the back of the marines and flank them. And we've got plenty of men in reserve. No unit in total war can stand being charged from the rear. Shaken, wavering. Come on, any minute now. You're down, you're down to 80 odd men left. chasing them down because most of them are actually inside our little bubble. There we go, we have actually managed to kill the unit completely. Quick, get into position. Stop shooting. My cavalry finally died. But only after... Ooh, actually. If we can get you guys out of that combat, you go chase down the hussars. You 
You guys stop shooting, everyone charge in. Artillery, don't want that. Back you go. Shouldn't let you guys get so far. These poor soldata don't stand much of a chance. The camels don't want to charge, so what if I just walk them in? Yeah, they broke. Yeah, they were being chased down by the Swiss grenadiers, so it's not unexpected. Bring the Nissan infantry over. Actually, let's charge my uh, my Bashi bazooks down into the uh, into the combat as well. So I have I have got combat speeded up a little bit. Actually, there's no there's not a whole lot of point actually. There's only 12 minutes left in the battle before uh, we win instantly. Yeah, don't worry, my Bashis are going to have their day with you. So these guys are going to come back up. Yep. These guys can open fire. Bashi bazooks, yes. So we're going to lash fire up against where the militia are. There's lots of dead bodies here, lots of Ottoman bodies as well. Are they charging my Issa, really? In case you guys hold fire. And the Bashis are very upset. Getting shot in the back. So are there, man. And there's a brand new regiment. Fresh as a daisy, or well, they're tired after their run into the fort, but they're there, ready. But it looks like this is probably going to be, this is it, in terms of all of the enemy forces in play. Oh, that looks like the Grenadier Regiment coming over here. So this, it looks like it's going to be a bloody final bout. Because these look like pretty kick-ass looking grenadiers to me. So let's keep bringing men in. Bashies are fine are in position. Let's bring my general over. No, I want you to be specifically in this position here before charging to hit the widest amount of Prussian troops as possible. And then I think the last unit left is that cavalry that seems 
stuck. So let's see if we can push my Sorelli up to this section of the wall and see if they can actually shoot it. Same with my other infantry. Let's see if I can march these guys in a position to engage. So we have lost a lot of men in this fight, but it is our victory. Yes, yeah, so they can't engage it for whatever reason. Uh, I'm guessing some of them's probably stuck inside. But either way, in four minutes, we will win this battle. I think we've won it fairly well. Granted, we've got a few units over here now that are very poorly. But we do earn a large amount of cash and we can push up um, a large number of troops at short notice very quickly to provide support. So, this isn't a huge, huge problem. Because <laughs> I think we've definitely lost more men than I'd like. And we only just started to actually make use of the reinforcing army, which I thought was pretty good. And I'd also like to think it means our... The amount of casualties we've done against the enemy would be pretty good as well. But they do have more ready. That's the thing to bear in mind, is that they are building up troops. Probably much faster than I am. So I think I probably need to get into gear, into a higher gear, when it comes to that arena. But victory is ours. It wasn't Pyrrhic. It was fair well, it was fairly Pyrrhic. Our garrison got destroyed. And the question is, do we just get immediately attacked again? Yeah, we lost a lot of men there. But some of our men got a whole lot of kills. Yeah, that army's more or less destroyed. But it has pushed a whole bunch of enemy troops away. So the army in that fort, their job... Well, they need to fall back. It's a pity to surrender the fort after having spent so much effort defending it. But they are very weak now. Very weak. You don't really want to keep them in such an exposed position, I don't think. Because this is how you lose this is how you lose whole armies. You fight one giant battle and you think, no, I'll keep them there for a turn to keep them re I'll replenish them, and the next turn they get attacked and then they're destroyed. Whereas if you fold them back, you could have recovered them. And used them for a later we could have, you could have a few turns later they're back. So yeah, raids and that's okay. Your reinforcements for the chaps of Iassi. Okay, so this force that's been gutted, meet up with this guy, he can stand back. You guys need to replenish and I'm probably going to get two units of melee infantry to join you. More Islamic swords, we need to be careful I don't pick ones that are too far away. Okay, so the sec bands seem to do pretty good, they got a bit less... Well, the second branch I did, they did really well. It's going to take them a few turns to get up into position. But that's okay. Let's do some upgrading. Because obviously one thing we don't want is for our... We're going to expand our forces so much, but we're still going to lose... But we lose um, position. Bombardment mortars... They're only, f only, f only a short number, of only a short range. So two guns, two of those infantry. Let's get some. Ah, oh, Royal Cairo infantry guards take twelve turns. Let's recruit a bunch of Nizam Sedit infantry. They'll also be recruited from Istanbul. Okay. 
Okay. So you're growing, you've got your mortars on board. Are you short of anything? Too heavy cavalry, probably too light cavalry, it's probably all you need. So let's recruit some, recruit some Mamelukes to go up and join this force at Ayasi. Not over here. This chap. You're probably just going to get Israeli rather than... Oh no, you need to stay out, don't you? In order to recruit. You're probably going to get... Yeah, it's going to take a few turns to get those infantry over here. So let's get... Israeli, they get recruited in one turn. Go over here in four. So let's get some of those. Let's get... Two pikemen as well. Good. Man, that's a bunch of cash in big in cash influx we've got from somewhere. Probably from a whole lot of industry buildings being built. And they can immediately be upgraded as well because we've gone quite far down the uh, industry research tree. Should probably done a bit more of that before I launched my attack. So we've got a couple of options to attack here. You guys can continue replenishing. You are fully replenished. You are still replenishing. A whole bunch of cavalry there. But that'll be three armies here. One to try and push onto Crimea to create a bit of a united front. You can march on and probably auto resolve that. <laughs> Can't fix it. But you like us a lot anyway. I'm going to keep. You're going to sit there for a moment, then I'm going to do a bit more replenishment. Got good visibility up to the rest of the region. But, looking at the timer, I mean, I've gone way over. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.